Uh, my name is Richard Booth. I'm a really good friend of Charles Salvador's. Fantastic. And so how long have you known Charlie? I've known Charlie over 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, I do a lot of work with Charlie. We do a lot of work for prison projects I work with. Mm -hmm. um, I look after everything that Charlie needs to have done on the outside. Yes. Um, I visit him every month. We speak on the phone at least four or five times a day. Yes. And we've become really good friends. And um, I think it's still an injustice that he's still in prison after 48 years. I think uh, it's, it's just, it's disgraceful. It is, you it know. Is. I um, mean, really, you know, when you think of all the murderers and everybody else who've been in there for yeah. get out quicker, yeah. I mean, it's just a terrible thing, isn't it? It is, you know, his public pro. Uh was a bit of a disappointment that he didn't get even uh, open conditions but yes. we're still we're still fighting for progression uh, he's currently got lodged a progression plan uh, which hopefully we'll see him move to uh, a prison that can progress him further than Woodhill can currently yes um, hopefully with a reduction of category mm -hmm. and then stands him in good stead for his next parole in a couple of years you know fingers crossed he will get there yes um, I think he's become a political prisoner so do I. Um, something somewhere we think there's a dossier where there's a post-it note saying he should be released, but yes. we, we will never stop fighting until the day he's actually released and he can taste his freedom. Yeah, I do wonder if it's a bit like, you know, if he, if he was to suddenly get ill, they may release him like sort of a Reg Cray thing or something because there's no reason to be no. at least not downgrading him now. Absolutely not. You know, I think he's, he's shown that he can he can change. He's changed. He's, he's been he's had no problems for the last five years at least. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of people still believe the myth they, they read in the press. Yes. Uh, you know, they still believe that the, the crimes that he committed 25 years ago. You know, yes. he's, a, he's a changed man. I've seen that a lot and mm -hmm. people can believe what they like. But, you know, when you sat there with him in more humane conditions, having a drink, yes. I see the real person, yes. not the facade that people see in the press. Um, and mm -hmm. I think he's due, he's more than due, he's, really, he's 18 years over Terry, for God's sake, yeah. you know, it's, I mean, it's a travesty. It's absurd. a travesty. How did he react to the uh, par parole hearing? I was with him the day um, he got the le letter that said he wasn't going to get a parole, you know, he had, and, but mm -hmm. he, he was, he was, um, he, he understood the process, but I think he was really disappointed that he had nothing. I think that's the one thing that resonated, and that, that upset him, and it upset me as well. You know, he's a realist. He knew, or you know, being released wouldn't happen overnight. Yes. But still, he expected something for all the good he's done. Yes. Because uh, where's the incentive of somebody like Charlie who served 48 years? Mm -hmm. But you know, we fight on. You know, uh, the, the the care and management plan he had last week was really positive. Some really positive things came out of that. So we're hoping uh, things will happen within the next six to nine months to yes. stand us in good step for the next parole hearing. Yeah, I mean, I was shocked that they gave him absolutely nothing. You know, they could have given him, you know, some slight glimmer of hope, a yes. little bit of downgrading something. Yeah. You know, and they, you know, that was vindictive, wasn't it? It was, and I still believe Dominic Raab had yes. a part to play in that because he yeah. wanted total veto over any prisoner who's a high profile prisoner, category A prisoner, mm -hmm. And was going for public parole, so I do yes. think he had his sticky mitts in that. Yes. Even though now he's gone, and all the IIP, uh, IPPs as well, who've been on ridiculous, mm -hmm. never-ending sentences. Mm -hmm. But you know, enough's enough. 48 years, 18 years over tariff. Um, yes. You know, it's time that Charlie should have the, the 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 right to go home and taste freedom. Well, fantastic, and thanks for all the good work you're doing with him. Thank you so much, and thank you for the opportunity.